All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on another brand new one from Boulder Supply Company. I wanna thank them for sending this one out to the channel for me to take a look at. Let's check this one out, and I'm gonna show you the side of the box. I've never looked at anything from the Safari series, so this is gonna be a first to me. And the model, check this out. It's the Vogel Cop Superb Bird of Paradise. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, I'm gonna leave a link to a video down below in the description. It's just a short video, and you'll get to see that bird in action. It's mating dance, it's pretty amazing. That is a new species that was, dis I mean, fairly new species. It was discovered and kind of named as a new species in 2018. So that's cool. 316L stainless steel, sapphire crystal, 200 meters water resistance, and we have a 40 millimeter case on this one. So let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at it. Now, I'm not sure if this is the way you're just going to come packaged. This is going to be your warranty paperwork, instruction manual, wiping cloth there. And let's go ahead and get this out of the box really quickly. And this is pretty sweet. I actually love these little carrying cases like this. They're very handy for, for travel, and they just really protect your watch. So, And I like it with this paracord on it. It looks kind of cool. So here we go. The Vogel Cop, superb bird of paradise. Now, once you see the video and you watch this bird in action, I need to wipe that that off. Now this one's black, all black, obviously blacked out. And so you might see some fingerprints and whatnot, uh, especially with this matte finish on it. But really, once you watch that video and you understand this bird, you will get this watch. Now, very minimalistic design here with this watch, as you guys can see. Um, no indices on it whatsoever. You do have this, it's a very coal black and they do describe it in uh, some different terminology. I'll try to put the, in the description what they call that black dial, but just everything on the watch blacked out except for the hand and you can see a little bit of a blue tint to those. And again, watch the video, see the bird in action, you'll understand that. 40 millimeter case from side to side. I did not measure the lug to lug, so we'll go ahead and fire up the caliper here real quick and get that for you guys. Got it on the side there. You can see it's got pierced lugs for easy strap changes. Not that I think you're gonna change those. A 45.8, 46 lug to lug, basically. Thickness comes in at 12 and a half, basically. Lug, I think, is going to be 20 millimeters, yep, pretty good there. So nice looking timepiece. The bracelet is obviously 20 there. And then where do we taper down to at the, about 18 millimeters at the um, the clasp assembly there. So nicely put together. Not a lot to talk about on the indices or anything like that, but you guys can see the finish here on the watch. You got a chamfer coming along the side of the case, pierced lugs, as I said, pretty much a matte black finish across the board. Your bezel, nice, nice, crispy. 120 click bezel. Now, you know, some people are going to say, what do you need a timing bezel for? But actually, this would work just fine as a timing bezel. Locks up. I think that's lined up perfectly with the 12 o'clock because I can't see the 12 o'clock. But pretty wild here. Sword hand, uh, kind of a broad sword hand there for that hour hand. Nice clean stick hand with the pencil tip there. You can see the loom on the end of that second hand sweeping around here. You know, like, I, this kind of reminds me of the old Movado Museum watches. They were black. They had hands on them, that, and that was it. They were just very clean, and that was a very popular watch design. So something about this, I don't know, it kind of appeals to me. Um, you do have a sapphire crystal, of course, with AR coating. Picking up a little reflection here in the uh, studio. I'm sure that's because of this matte black dial. Looking at the crown, you do have that bolder sign logo there. Uh, clasp assembly is pretty simple, and if you guys watched my recent video on that that new um, Odyssey Freediver, you see that they got this little... Um, Kind of, you know, little design here on the clasp assembly. Kind of a topographic map look, as you can see here on the case back also. Uh, inside this watch, I do believe they're running the Seiko NH35. I did not check. And let's check this together to see if there was a ghost position on this crown. So that, that's always interesting. Um, so we'll go ahead and pull it out once. Does appear to be a ghost position with the NH35. That may bug some people. Uh, and You know, it's not really that big of a deal to me. That looks like about 1010. Um, <laughs> there you go, guys. I'm thinking you're going to want to set this watch kind of at the top of the hour so you know it's dead on. But very wild design here. Screw down crown. Uh, NH35, even without the ghost position. Uh, the NH38 maybe would have been another uh, movement to look at with this because it does not have a date functionality. So you don't get that ghost position on the um, crown stem. But no big deal. Um, but 24 joules. Uh, approximately 40 hours of power reserve, hacking hand windable. So it's a good tried and true and trusted movement. So very nice looking watch. If you guys are into black watches, PVD, this is definitely something to look at. And it, like I said, it's got that minimalistic look that's um, subtle but bold, I guess, at the same time. So let's go ahead and pause it for a second. Get this one on my 7-inch wrist and make sure you stick around for that loom shot. 
All right, so with a 40 millimeter case, it always fits my seven inch wrist very nicely. Now on the bracelet, uh, it does appear that these are a pin style. I'm not sure if that's a pin and collar for attaching them or if it's standard split pin, but I did notice that they are not screwed links on this watch. But uh, let's go ahead and dim the lights, check out the loom, and I'll also tell you about the pricing on this one. So we'll go ahead and get the watch out in uh, natural sunshine. That's always the best for a loom shot. And then I'll take it in a dark room and show you what it looks like. But uh, it also gives you an idea of what the watch is going to look like outside, you know, kind of uh, what the light's going to play off of it and everything like that. So let's get it in the dark. All right, so here we are in the dark. You guys can see this thing glows like crazy. Uh, the two dots up there at the 12 o'clock position represent the glowing eyes of the uh, the bird. And check out the video down below in the description. Um, really, really cool. Really, really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and go back outside the light. We'll talk really quickly about the pricing on this one. Okay, $449 is the price at the website. Not sure if these are going to be limited or anything like that, but really cool looking timepiece. I really like what they did with this. And this is a follow-up to another watch they did. I can't remember uh, the Singularity, I think it was, but that was kind of this black hole um, thing. And, and the Mosu, I think, dial... Um, that black dial absorbed like 99.4% of the light. So really wild concepts coming out of Boulder these days. Love what they're doing. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.